Asako Kwa hali yako ya sasa Tukenecheze wiki wa sako Kwa yule alie chuni yetu The man who calls him the king of kings The lord of lords The omnipotent, the omniscient
mafundisho wake anaomba asisamini na upande wa jukwaa katika jina la Yesu Kristo na poomba asisamini katika jina la Yesu naomba na ndoto nyingine ya pili katika jina la Yesu Kristo as we pray as they come to minister let Jehovah Lord connect them we are praying for a divine connection from above that whatever God is going to release through this man of God going to touch our life deliver our life change our life transform our life heal our life in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu naomba ufunge macho yako tunapoenda kuomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo Baba Yesu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nina kutukusa nina kuinua Imefika wakati Tumisho wako anasimama kwa ajili ya kupanda mbegu Yeye ni mpanzi tu Ninaomba katika jina la Yesu Bwana ukawatumie Mwenyezi Mungu ukawatumie katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nina mkapiti uchungaji pasa ataipa kwa mikononi unasimama naye nina muunganisha pamoja na pitu mia wanapotumika katika madhara hii mshana wa leo ninaomba kwa jina la Yesu utasimama nayo wacha pindi kukubali katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninakataa kila roho ya confusion ninakataa kila roho ya confusion katika jina la Yesu wanapoanza wakaanza na wewe watakapomaliza wakamaliza na wewe ninanyamazisha kila roho yoyote itakayoinuka kinyume na neno lako kila kinyume kila roho yoyote ninanyamazisha wanapohudumu kila roho kasheni ninanyamazisha kwa jina la Yesu wacha neno lako litakopoe mshana wa leo neno lako litainue mshana wa leo neno lako litapoe mshana wa leo maana wewe ni Mungu Bwana dhirika Bwana simama ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini sema amen Somebody is praying in the spirit Prato prati shati prati lati prati Manto raba ka prati la bakete brekete bete Rika pata pate brekete Saka braga bragata Father we thank you We bless your name You are worthy You are wonderful You send us here for a reason You send us here for a mission. Father, even as we come to the climax of this session, we want to speak to the strong man of this land. Be loose wherever you are. Be loose wherever you are. Be loose wherever you are. You hold your people for long into captivity. But my Father, I decree by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, be loose wherever you are. Shake it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Mantora ba shake it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Rika pata pata, break it, break it, break it, break it. Mantara bu shibra da da ba ta break it, break it, break it. Leke ka ka ta ka ta ba break it, break it, break it. The move of God is here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Have your seats. I want to begin by giving my heartfelt appreciation. 
to God. And secondly, I want to thank the organizers of this event. It was not in vain. It was not in vain. Sure. And therefore, Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Let me thank the pastors of this church. The youth ministry. And uh, all the men of God who are on this altar. When I was born, I didn't know one day I'd stand as a privilege to speak to people. And therefore, it takes the hand of God to use a man who never even had slippers to be able to stand before people and even speak the Queen's language. Amen. Because of time, I would just want to urge the leadership that let us learn to begin the church service early. Because by now we are supposed to be closing. But now is the time that we are supposed to speak to your lives. Some, I know some potary attention is quite divided in Manake Tumbo in Manaza Buruma. But I want to assure you the Lord will feed you. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, this must have your Bible and the microphone, please. Amen. 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 Let me use let me use you faster. Please have a microphone and your Bible. Watch and to be able to gaji. I took a video. Because one go faster. You help me read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. Going down to verse 3. People is soft strings that are done. People is soft strings, kind. Ephesians 4, chapter 1, the two, the Bible says as a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of calling you have received. Two, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Two, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Father, I thank you for this word. As I speak to your people, I pray may your spirit fall down, may your revelation come, may your people be fed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, Paul is talking to the church in Ephesus. And Paul has made a study 
Na Paulo ame Asadi, asadi. Ametengeneza somo. And he has realized there is one problem with the church in Ephesus. Na amegundua kuna shida kwenye kanisa la Efesu. And in verse 3. Na kwa mstari wa 3. We read. Eh? Tunasoma. It says make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. One is as a few. Amen. So one major factor this church has is it lacks unity. Lile jambo kubwa ile kanisa liko nalo ni ukosa umoja. From yesterday we had speakers talking about kingdom culture. Kwanza jana tumesikiza walio tuhubiria wakisema Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. Kingdom culture. And therefore, one of the major factors of building kingdom culture is having unity amongst the church. And that's why Paul is saying as a prisoner of the Lord then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. This means if you lack unity if you lack unity then you are not living as a prisoner of Christ. Not of Christ, of the devil. When I ask you, just sit here, my sister. God will help you. There's a chair here. It has idea too. I'm raising interpreters. To do my prayer. Just sit here. God will help you. To end the So if you lack unity. It means you are not doing the will of God as his prisoner. So Paul has realized that the church in Ephesus lacks one factor called unity. And that's why we have come as voices of worship to revive you in the sector of unity. In the sector of unity. So the church in Ephesus is likened to the current church. And that's why you will hear of rivals inside the church. Because people do not want to agree with Paul on the matters of unity. People have refused to go in one direction. People have refused to listen to their pastors. Where direction comes, they scatter. Where there is peace, they bring this unity. Omwami Yesu is holy one. And Bona Gendi, our sons, even you can say, Kampuri. Mu, Paul, Yanika, Nagu, Dwapu, Ishi, Ilim Kalisa, Yaroni, Paulo Gulala. Nekatia, no Egamakansa, Kesaino, or your Nagama, no Pale Mita. She will not have a Kamita, she will not have a Kamata, she will not have a Tower. Never go over Chedi, never Chay, no more of Chimbe, whatever Kamisha and Yuma. Nekatia, the Kansa, she will not have a Tower, when this was a few. Glory be to Jesus. And so this afternoon, I want to speak about unity. Please be king. I wrote here Unity Unity is the state of being one and divided entity. Yes. Secondly, 
Unity is not only for special people. Regardless of your status in the society. It doesn't matter the status you hold in the society. Whether you are a lay leader, you are an overseer, you are a bishop, you are a deacon, you are a youth leader, it takes all of us to form one thing we call unity. So unity is not for only anointed men. Unity I wrote here that it is a division. Division It is a division to speak of unity and you don't practice it. You only speak about unity but you don't practice it. So it is one of the major factors that causes disunity in the body of Christ. Unity begins with me. Unity begins with me. If I'm not united, there is no way I will bring God's people into unity. Some of us, your life is so much confused and disorganized. Let me talk to our vijana because this is a youth family. I say, my youth, and I say, my youth. Mamori wa wacha ni wambie hivi Sisi wengine wetu tume tunaongea kuhusu moja lakini life yetu mtu akiangalia anaona kwamba hata sagodi hayuko ndani yako Number one factor if you want to know somebody is disorganized is how they dress because we have taken charge to be like a marketplace. People dress how they want and come to church. If it is ladies, they are putting on ministers. Hallelujah. But there must be unity inside you before you speak of unity. So, unaweza angalia mtu jinsi ambavyo amejipanga. Unajua kwamba hata kama anaongelea umoja, huyu mtu hana umoja ndani yake. Abadu wengine abafungu mkanisa, nilianza mkanisa afale slippers ya blue na red. Nikana kwamba mambo hapa kuna corners ya kuonyesha umaskini, wanatuache hiyo chest. Let us be serious with the matters of God. Nyangaina Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And so Let us read the book of Exodus chapter 5. Mubiri. No chapter 4. Chapter 4 verse 9 to 12. 
Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 12. Mayuti wa shanza kulika sirikia wanasema next time Tukitisha na nikama hii huyo jamaa sipatue microphone Ama kipatue microphone tutatoka charge Lakini yata mkitoka charge Mwenyezi mungu wanasema kwa mba musipo ni abudu Nitatumia mawa kifanya nini Kwa hivyo niko na nini Niko na nini Aba shereo maitabu na yata nema yanga barisimatu kabisa Aba saa hulu mefunele kaha ni barisimatu kabisa Lakini etawu ilisaani Chila ninyo wa kambibu mkamba Kwa nisofu kamba nili suri sinjiri Shika nisumena humuruwe Mwami yesi etomimu He? Shika nyo mkwa wana kachila kwa mpahirebo Ulo mlaka Usofe We are reading Ecclesiastes Chapter number 4 From verse 9 To 12 To 12 I'll read Two are better than one Because they have a good return for their labor Ten if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But purity, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Eleven. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Twelve. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three stands in not quickly broken. Thank you. So the preacher is writing and he has done a research and he realizes that if you are one, you cannot make it. So for us to make it, I have to be me with her. No wonder in the book of Genesis, God is creating Abraham and he realizes that Adam has no companion. So he causes Adam to sleep and when he is asleep, he creates Eve out of his womb. And when Adam is woken up, he is happy because he sees what will help him. So, the preacher is writing in Exodus. And he realizes that if you are alone, you cannot make it. You need the hand of another brother so that you can become one. And he says even if you sleep alone, you cannot walk in the bed alone. Uwezi chagamusha kitana peke yako. Sio mimi naongea ni bibilia ya sem. But najua kuna wengine watafsiri mapara kapa kende na haka andu kishitana. What the preacher will say ni ya mwona angambu ufuna ama andu hume ne dogu nala. E yue wene ne chanyo kamba injiri yogu nala mwoko nogu nala wene ne tao. Mwami yese ito mwini. Wane yese wa sefiri. So kwa hivyo it takes the effort of all of us to make unity. And even to the unmarried men like me inside here. If you want your house to stand in order, you need to help her. Vijana, I'm not scared. It's not time to have a girlfriend right now. Because when you come to the house, you come to the house. Kama yusi yu my brother Kujia tu Kujia ni kutumi Kujia ni kutumi Kujia makofi I want to give an example I want to give an example Let's say It's in form 3 In form 3 the parents are providing everything for him. Including the inner pants he's putting on. So, because he's in from three, and it is an adolescent stage, na taangalia kwa shule ya wanda inaka, kina brayo, kina timo, kina kono, kina nani na nani, kila siku wana guru na matel. Kwa hivyo, pia takuja haone Stacey yama masi maali Na asame masi ala kulomotovu Wanaiswa sifuwe Anaposema na kulomotovu 
yeye hajua kwamba hana uwezo wa kuweka wewe masi bwana yesu asifiwe so why is in school he is thinking about how i can sustain masi akiwa shuleni anafikiria vile anapo anaweza jikimu na masi that is a wrong aspect of unity hiyo ni ni kipengee kibaya cha because when these two people unite they are immature kwa sababu tunapokutana tuko bado tuko vijana because huyu anaomba huyu kalamu kwa sababu mimi naomba kalamu na huyu anaomba baba yake kalamu so baba asipompea kalamu itamaanisha aidha jamata kwa mwizi bwana yesu asifiwe nyumba nguru ile ile tuesa na mikali sasa sasa kaikora kila yenye kuisha wina masi sisi wewe ni mwizi tu bwana usinikasirike usinipige nguvu acha nikusimamie bali bwana yesu asifiwe so kama mmekuwa mmeweka huyu jamaa ndio tuesa na wayuto yuto atakuwa anasanga every sunday wanachanga lakini ikifika ni kuenda rali kwenda kufanya nini wakimuuliza anasema unajua nilifuliza ngoja tu kidogo next week hiyo pesa itarudi lakini kumbe hiyo pesa imeenda kwa masi mtu aseme kingdom culture mtu aseme kingdom culture na ndio vitu vinafanyika makanisani ushirati umejaa makanisani Shishira ulo nasoma mubishi na usome ndio na bona no vi isio kwenda ushana sehemu cha leo leo utundu muta na sio kama masi mpraise and worship Nimeacha kuimba na kukaa nyumba yote huji I speak over you Naongea na wewe May the Lord be with you Mungu atu Asha paka pratendeke Katu hapo leo mkambila hala tayari Mungu mka Bwana Yesu asifiwe So it takes the effort of me and you. Inachukua nguvu zetu sisi wote. To ascend to this factor called unity. Ndio tufikie kile kipengele kinachoitwa utangamano. Even if you have billions in your account. Hata kama una mabilioni. It, it will take you to look for watu wa mtengo to come and help you build the church. Inachukua utafute watu wa mtengo wa kusaidia. We call that unity. Ndio tunaita utangamano. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bona bona gani sio bona ni somo kambi wale wa kambi hapo kwa leo masie sumosho ya roho lata let me tell you kakalo chako wewe ndio god can still replace you bwana yesu asifiwe lazima tujiangalie masai imeenda hashebe kete bread na bata tu father we thank you we bless you to go to killers of unity. Nataka twende katika vitengo vya utangamano. What kills unity in a church? Kitu ambacho kinasababisha kinasababisha kukosa utangamano. Titles. Ama kamera mahongoka hiya. Majina makubwa. Ni sirai tena na ndio wasia bishop stop wina 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 titles. Aba kambi ku dambera. Akinda hukambeta. Ndiyo mimi nasoma la mofsi nimekubali lakini ndaenga ambe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Titles. Majina makubwa makubwa. Titles. Majina makubwa. Ambia mwenzako titles. Sitaki usome hiyo lakini let me just mention. Huh? When you read in Nehemiah chapter 3, tunaposoma kitabu cha Nehemiah. Verse 1 and 2. Mstari wa mlango wa 3 mstari wa 4. Nehemiah is part of to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Nehemiah anataka ku tengeneza ukuta za Yerusalemu and so Nehemiah goes into prayer kwa hivyo Nehemiah anaenda katika maombi and he seeks for permission from the king anatafuta ruhusa kutoka kwa Mungu and God gives him favor with the king na Mungu anampa kibali na mfalme and so he goes back to his home na kwa hivyo anarudi kwa nyumbani to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem kulijenga tena ukuta za Yerusalemu and so when he begins He meets people who are against his mission. The Bible calls them Sanballat and Tobias. When Jesus says you, go with me. And so, the Bible talks. When you read when it says and the priest, and the priest, no one else will marry you. Omuka abaka. Ni kuhani wa mama leo ni wanani. Soma hapo. Prima soma mbele yake. Tasoma. Eliashib, the high priest and his fellow 
Eliashi the high priest kuhani mkuu alisahau jina lake la kuhani akaenda chini kusaidia kujenga kuta za Yerusalemu lakini ndio alikuwa ana kudara ambaye mkanisa wamkambia ora ni sio si jina ni kanisa hilo mrela pesa shaini yake mfuko tao mwami yesu tano bali kanisa ya kuna kweli chini ya tao so if you work with titles we give unity in the church when we call for unity we are calling you to forget about your phd forget about your professor forget about who has come look at this beautiful lady here she serves in the kenya defense forces but see we are calling for unity she has suspended her programs to be here glad for her She's a perfect example of people who are building unity. Ni msano mzuri wa watu ambao wanaleta umoja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ikifika kwa umoja, kuibire kitai, kuibire kona, kuibire kisuti, kuibire chapshuta, kuibire amaleso, kuibire tambaya, kuibire mabwa kana kosi, hongo ya labda ni kanisa. Soma ile ni sisi jira ni kwa. Unyasi ya shida. Ni sema makanisa. Hatio mo makanisa uwe na unyasi ya kanisa. Wale ni bana wote. Ni tuko makanisa uwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi tunajua mimi ndio youth leader man. Sisi tunajua mimi ndio youth leader. Mazee kwa kwenda kuosha church, mimi sikuji. Lakini ukiwa na rali na kucheza keyboard mtacheza. Kuimba mimi ndio nitasolo nyimbo zote. Lakini ikifika ni kuosha chacha ama kuosha viombo mimi si ai si. Zae mimi si. Kwa hapo ni hapo ni ita kuosha viombo si. Mayote. Titles must be taken off. Sante pastor God, wewe utakuwa mbili. And so, another second factor that kills unity. It is variation in language. And speech. Variation in language and speech. Genesis chapter 11. The Bible talks about the Tower of Babel. And the man who was pioneering this act was called Nimrod Kush. The Bible says and the people speak one language and the same speech. So when they spoke one language and the same speech, It means that how they come together in unity. It means they have come together. But because their unity had bad intent. God had to separate their language. And their speech. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kono wana pesa simiti ndo mlieta ndo mwesi. Ama huwa kana kebola Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because nitaka nipo na watu wana mabola ndo nibi lala iluga ndala. Lakini obulala wao swali wako na malaika. Baka ya saye hasina bona le hadithi yake abantu wana benyo kuomba kashina. Lenye asaya yake na yeye na watu wana mali benyo kuomba munara wa papeli kwa ajili ya sifa zao wenyewe akawasambara tisha ukiitisha simiti mtu anakuja na sukari hawa ndio baba wao abaluya baba wao bachama msuma abasere baba wao bachama wa pesa kani baba wao abaluya bachama ukamsho kaba huku wao wanaesha sifiwe lakini now kwa hivyo Should we realize? 
for these people to come together they spoke one language and they had one speech but the current church today has a different language has a different speech these people are not speaking in one language and one speech. But for unity to be there, to another direction. But you have a little bit of a sense here, but I can't be tough. I'm sure that I'm cancer because I'm a little bit more like, I'm going to go to the bar, I'm going to go to the bar. 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 Kwenye ikanza yeka upili sijia mbulala Baka wama nduwa wano limi lala Nende iluga lala Number three Ya tatu Gossip Masengenya Gossip Masengenya Gossip Masengenya Tibo Atakuja kwa brayo, kuja brayo. Amuambia, suwe ni onatakanga masi. Lakini, ni maona masi akiwa natemea na joni. Kwa nesu wa sifiwe. Mnaona, najaribu kufunza kitu wapa. Mane, timbeba. Shishika timo, yesi ya nyanga masi, nyama ya brayo, ameza ande masi. Mlaano, ito kawo kwe. Abu Orenda, nuti brayo yunache na kanende Sylvia. Pop brayo kuna ba na wanya kikibo kanisa. Inyanga ya Johnny asinjiro huimba anacheza ofki. So inasasa na sababu yasema tunafunga, tunafunga. Aku na kile tunafunga ni yao watu waskizani umbe ya kona ni yao. Wana hisa sifuri. My pastor Kachi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Waulire ho. Omukambia seka ulia. Esadaka huinya ile wa ni tepiki piki. Nibaki mure uwe. Epiki piki uwe ngo hai paka ni sadaka huinya ile. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mtu asikie kile yule anisikwe na ongea lugha ambayo mtu aelewi. It will be so bad. Aliyo mdula urunuya. Asante. Mura di kanisa, kubora aleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo mambo ya mdomo wa huru timbemba tiononi njo mlembe, tiononi njo kulala mwe kanisa. Kwenye kule paka kule timbemba. Ya mwezi sana sira ulanga mzuiye. Chano mwezi uluwe katika nao sio yote kiu chama. Yana bibi shule no huru, shule no huru wangu mwe kanisa tao tao. Kwa njia la kuleta sisi wa sisi na bopuwe pola tao. Tibeba, kanda ba kambi wa tibeba tibi tiamu. Niwa kambi ni maska kana ni kanda kamba mkau na kanda kamba mkau ni sana kwenye nyumba sisi na nyumba sisi na nyumba sisi. Dipos, dunana, pasta sana wana kama dapao. Mutiamasita kwenye mzungu mshauriya, una kufa kifua moja hutu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ina fanyika. For the five to come, we must begin with ourselves. Unajua wendi, unajua kubonga kisuku hiki nishmaze Kumba unataka masi Uuse Unataka masi, lakini unamuambia unajua masi 
wewe unajua kubonga english kwa vile voices of no voice kwa na kama wewe na na kwa point utakuwa service leader utakuwa worship leader utakuwa prayer intercessor kwa sababu tu nataka mercy baada ya kupitia kupitia nje hivi tunaribu wakati unafanya hivyo wale akina asili ya wanaangalia baba na baba wishi dunia uko na tupendelee waleza sifiwe katabu family na wewe msio ibra hiyo utausaidia familia unaharibu ana anje hadi unaenda hebu na mshida sana daga yaanza saa uko yasi mwana kama ni discipline patia wote kama ni chakula patia wote iko share bwana yesu asifiwe masaa imeenda cha tweta na kaka pastor kachi mesanti now promoters of unity uh, vitu vinavyoleta tangama John chapter 17:11 John 17:11 Mtu aseme tu Mungu nisaidie. Nisiwe mmoja ambao analeta utengano katika kanisa lako. Somebody anaomba, tafadhali omba tu. Wengi mwenko wote ni asaita. Nisiwanda sileti mbemba makambi. Nisiwapo ndani kama kwa kala kwa na nyasai upele. Niachilie tu. 17 level yake. 17 verse 11. Yes. I think I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world. And I am coming to you. Thanks so. Thank you. This is where Jesus is praying for his disciples. Jesus is finalizing his mission on earth. And he's about to go. But he remembers he's leaving some people behind. And so he's praying. And he says, Father, I pray that they may be one. Ya kwamba wawe wale. Ya wale ndio ya maneno hapo kiendelea. That chapter that they may be one. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But you know Jesus was praying a prayer. Na kwa hivyo Yesu alikuwa anasema maombi. That did not take the heavens to answer. Ambayo haikuchukua mbili. This was a prayer the disciples were supposed to answer by themselves. Ili niombe ambalo wafuasi wake walitaka kujibu wao wenyewe. It was not casting demons. Hapo anatoa mashetani. It was not removing curses. Hapo anatoa la. But it was a prayer of unity. Lakini ilikuwa ombi la la utangamano. Now it was a prayer of unity. Ilikuwa ombi la utangamano. Because he knew the answer remained in the hands of the disciples. Kwa sababu anajua kile ambacho alikuwa ameachia wafuasi wake. So church if you want to have unity in church. Kwa hivyo mkitaka kuwa na utangamano kwa church. We must be people of prayer. Yapatiwe watu wa maombi. If we are scorned in the place of prayer. Tukiacha kutopita katika mahali pa. I tell you the devil will jump inside the church. Shetani atakuja kanisa. That's why Jesus was praying for the disciples. Ndio maana Yesu alikuwa anaomba. And who are the disciples? Na wafuasi wake alikuwa. The disciples are me and you. Wafuasi wake ni mimi na wewe. Apostle Paul is dead. John is dead. Peter is dead. But tumebaki na kina Timo, Brayo, Masi. How do my disciples Jesus? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes, they are the disciples. And so if you want to make much in matters of unity. Kwa hivyo ukitaka kuwa na mambo mengi katika utangamano. We must be people of prayer. Tafatu watu wa We must love prayer. Tunafatu pende maombi. Walk in prayer. Tutembee katika maombi. Worship with prayer. Tutembee katika maombi. Visit each other in houses in prayer. Tembele majumba za wenzetu na maombi. Unataka kutembea hata kwa nyumba hawaombi wenzetu na sababu ya utengere chai. Wakoro mwenye kama kataondo koneza. Sasa uskari ipande mia nne na juu tekele chai. Injira mtu saa ya kwanza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tekele chai chai. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mtu akiingia stadi yuko nyumba yako lazima muangalie vizuri sana. Tekele washi. Kata hapa sisi yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Niache masi. Sura hiyo ina fatu worship leo kwa hivyo situende tu worship. Worshipers, you must pray. 
Watch first, you must pray. I said you must pray. From prayer, God will give you songs that will take you to nations. Samson prayed that give me strength one more time. And Samson was able to kill a large number of people at this day of day. Through prayer, a man called Jabez. He was born out of pain. But the Bible says that Jabez prayed. And God gave him what he prayed for. So if you want unity, we must be a praying church. Leave alone jumping in praise and worship alone. We must set time for prayer. Great men are made in prayer. Great apostles are made in prayer. Great ministers and churches are made in prayer. If you refuse to pray, my name is Sifiwe. I am one of the most high. Love. Mark chapter 12, verse 31. Mark 12, 31. Mark 12, 31. Mark 12, 31. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. Love your neighbor. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask this question. We now say, see how you like the way you say, Oh, you had a night away. Look at how you say, see how you have a night away. I am more of an officer. But I'm asking, who has said hi to any other upper line? Watch any text message to me and pray out and I'll see you good night. I'm a morning. Morning in upper wisdom, you go there. Nani, who? Sincerely speaking, who? Who? <laughs> so we must be people of love. That let us treat each other in love. I don't speak much about that. You know what love it is. Sidio. Yes, you can feel what was mama and I see so. We share with China. That's why we share China. I'm going to talk. Oh, what are you going to do? No matter what I do, I'm going to go around. 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 I'm going No one on campus I can use the university or the school fees the whole hour and she would allow it. If I would allow my cancer, Lazima do what we will pay them. Mali will not pay them. Umoja will not let it at all. When it's a few, Umoja will not let it at all. I will not pay them. Next. Sharing with one another. Acts chapter 2, verse 44 to 45. Share. Share. The Bible says there was an apostolic culture. Read it, please. Acts 2, 44 45. I read Acts chapter 2 verse 44. He says, All the believers were together and had everything in common. 45. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Amen. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had Need. These were the apostles themselves. The first church. The Bible says they stayed together. 
If the hearer is the one person is in need, they will say and share. Now, how can you share when, when you don't like him? The Bible talks in the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 3. That two cannot walk together unless they are clean. When Jesus is here. Kama unatembeanga na brao na brao mse anapenda madengu sema upendi madengu wewe ni mtu wa pili kama kabrao kadogo ambaye anapenda madengu anakumenta tu pole pole Bwana Yesu asifiwe Yeye yeah, anakumenta in the act of kupenda today mtu wingi atusemi mshare today today we are saying let us be people who share in good things Sasa tukae watu ambao tunagawana katika mambo mazuri Bwana Yesu asifiwe So these people shared whatever they had. And I tell you the greatest ministry in church. If you want to make this church full to the brim. Ukitaka let us go with the gospel of love and sharing. Unapoingia kwenye mambo mtu kama mwinjilisti chaenda kwa ndemia 500 mfuko. Wewe unafikia kama mzio mbele mbona kona za rosa hata kina kuenga utimo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes, you kweli. Tembea na kitu kwa mfu. Mwenyewe unaangalia unasema no oh God. Na bwana ta nimekuja hapa tuombe lakini kabla tuombe ningaomba niwasaidie. Mkapata angalau kikombe cha chai. Abantu wale wamezemu kanisa for the whole of the coming years. Lakini kwa mfu kwa jana bwa. Mfu kwa jana bwa. Kata hana huli na hujere kwa na siku ile ura ndio hana kaniteke mmoja. Na hole leo mao. Wewe sio ibrezo huko na kwa matendo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We must be people who share love. Brayo na 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 masi na nani. Baada ya kupendana tu wewe na wewe siku sema siku moja wacha twende orphanage. Sisi kama youth ministry tunachanga hii pesa fulani tunaenda orphanage tunaenda kwa hospitali tunaenda kwa wapi jela we are going to share love so we come to church when it is feel benefits of unity it is a teaching benefits of unity umuhimu wa kutangamana one blessings bana blessings bana Psalms 133 verse 1 to 3 Psalms 133 verse 1 to 3 I read How good and pleasant is when God's people live together in unity It is like It is like precious oil poured on the head running down the beard running down on Aaron's beard down on the collar of his robe it is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion for there the Lord best bestows his blessings even life for so ever. there the Lord commands a blessing How good and pleasant it is for brethren to come together. Ni vizuri sana. Ndio ni mwana zapuja na ndipa. Dau And it ends by saying for there God commands a blessing. Inaisha kwa kusema hapo Mungu kuna baraka zingine ambazo zinakuja katika umoja. Atusipoka katika umoja na waambia kuna baraka mingi ambazo zinatupa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mchenda mbona la kiyoti habita ya saa ya wezi jia lakini wewe wewe unaenda mbona la kiyoti habita fuwa Do you want to be blessed work together Do you want to arise move together Kwa nini sasa sio Mwesikia brayo Wewe ni pasi sasa wewe si brayo Wewe ni pasi Wewe brayo mwesikia Kwa nini sasa sio So unity commands a blessing. Number two. Eternal life. Uzima wa milele. Kisoma hiyo bali. Anitaka. Psalms 133. Psalms 133 verse 1. Live 
together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It is as, as if the dew of Hammon were falling on Mount Zion, for there is the Lord blessing his, for there is Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Even life forevermore. forevermore. So where there is unity, there is life. And not just life, life in eternity. We call it soul life. When I start to feel, we call it soul. So do you want life just walk in unity? What I can say in every church looking for miracles and life. Life can be found through being united. When I start to feel, do you want life through unity? John chapter number 4, I think you give us chapter 14, verse 6. The Bible says, and Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to the Father but except through me. So another way of going to Jesus is by being united. And having a kind of life is being united. And the same Bible reminds me in Proverbs 16 verse 25 that there are ways that look pleasant in the eyes of man but the end therefore is full of death.